What's up, mini truckers? Pan here, that US mini trucks, trying to cheese it up a little. We're here, we got the 1990 Subaru sandbar dump truck bed. And we're gonna do a walk around. We're looking, somebody looking at this in the US military. So let's give a shout out, salute the flag, put your boots on. It's Monday, get ready for work. No complaining. And let's do this Subaru sandbar walk around. Looks like we got a couple holes in the dash there. Maybe they had something mounted. Uh, what else? I think there's supposed to be carpet. Maybe it never came with it, but some of them have like a little thin piece of carpet around here. Look that good here. There's supposed to be a little tray, like a plastic tray. I'm not sure if they did that. Is maybe they broke it and somebody removed it? I'm not sure why you would take it out. Headliner looks really good. It's complete. It is missing or it never came with the passenger side mirror. Looks like the windshield's intact. It's some scratches or something, but doesn't look any real chips or dings. Okay. We're gonna take the parking brake off and then the key's in. I haven't started it. Like I said, I'm probably Sometimes you can pump the throttle, sometimes not. Let's not pump the throttle and just see what happens. So I'm gonna pump the throttle to like three times. One, two, three. Maybe I'll, one, two, three. Or maybe I'll. So I kind of pumped it when I was going. I haven't started this one. She's probably been a month, but we'll see. Sometimes those batteries get a little low. This one, the battery was good. And I mean, we got it started. So if you run it tomorrow, probably you'll have no issues. But a lot of time you let these carbureted ones sit for a few weeks and they can get a little cranky. Okay, no radio. The blower, one, two, and three work. And then you've got that. We're gonna leave all that off. I'm waiting for somebody here, so I'm not sure who's who. I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, we're just putting it in first here. It's in two-wheel drive mode. It's funny, because I actually kinda spins the back tires on this gravel with two-wheel drive but when they pull this thing out we'll do a little okay one of the things the dump truck bed's a little bit more beat up or i mean the the body i mean so we can see we got some damage here i'm not sure what this looks like body fill maybe something Actually, I don't know what that is. Some of the times you see some of the paint work. I don't know if aerosol is illegal in Japan, but you see a lot of them where people try to touch them with brushes. Okay. I was saying there's a little bit of a, a gap here. And then some... I'm not sure if something happened or there's glue that ran down. Maybe they tried to fix that and the glue ran down. It's got some paint and some dents and dings. Here's what I was saying about the, the brushing. Okay. Kind of normal wear and tear on the dump truck functions. You got this part, a little bit of a rust there. But overall, mechanically in good shape. Look at that engine. No oil leaks, a little bit of surface rust. 
Is that a dent right here in that axle? Hello. Pretty good under there. We put a little, you know, touch up spray paint. Thing will look brand new. Okay. I'm gonna put the bed up. Take a look at some of the rest of the. Let's go all the way. Damn, son. What? Does your truck have a built in window? Mine does. You want to see what's happening on the side? Put the bed up. Alright, so in here, we got the frame. You can see how they connect it here. Okay. I took this all out, it's all good under here. We do have some surface rust on the bottom of the bed. Looks like it's been touched up. This is a good sign, so you can see this has got plenty of grease. Lots of grease there. You don't necessarily want to stand under the bed, that's where you use that special thing, but I wanted to show you that. And then don't drive, don't try to drive with this because we're going to flip over. So we're just going to put it down nice and quiet going down. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bring it back to the lot and set it back over there. We'll drive it around a little more. Alright, this sun. This one doesn't have uh, the carpet in the bottom, and I'm noticing it kind of has a little echo in here. And then also, it's a little bit louder. So you may be good putting the, some carpet in. Okay, we're here. We got our interrupted from customers. They're coming, they bought that little Honda. So that's good. Okay, here's that door. It looks like it's got some paint defects. I'm not quite sure if we look at this. It's weird. Let's see if you can see it very good. Seemed like you could paint it, you know, touch it up. Maybe put a wrap on this. It's got a little bit of damage down at the bottom. Yeah, definitely the dump trucks are a little more used. Okay. You got a little rust on these handles that's locking it up. Here's the frame. Let me let the camera adjust a bit. Looks pretty good here. A little bit of rust. Let me crawl in there. I don't know if it's adjusting. Let me drive it a little with these tires because it's kind of making a noise, but maybe it's just the brakes from sitting. We got some damage to the to the side door. This whole door has kind of got some dings and dents. And... Is she not winning any any prizes for cleanliness? That's for sure. You got some residue from probably where that visor was or let me see if this side has a visor yeah it looks like residue from where the visor was some tape on the on the side view mirror 
I mean, if you don't have a tape holding your truck together, what are you doing? Okay, let's go drive it around a little, try to spill my coffee. Oh, hello. This is something I've seen on the Subaru. It's probably the Hondas too, that piece pulls out. Some coffee. 